Almost 24 hours after the debate ended, we are still dealing with the fallout here in Philadelphia from a misleading claim about area satellite voter centers and poll watchers. President Trump's team wants someone present at these centers and is threatening to sue. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. A lot of confusion was created when the president's claim once again Philadelphia election leaders were on the offensive, stressing that these spots offer voter services. We explain what that means and why poll workers can't actually be inside. Alexandria Hoff is sorting out all the confusion. Alex? Leo, Jessica, Yuki, seven of these temporary election offices are now open. Ten more are going to open up in the next couple of weeks. And local election officials explain that these are not polling locations. And what is happening right now in the city of Philadelphia is not technically early voting. So that poll watchers from either party simply have no place there. In a letter sent to Philadelphia City Commissioners, an attorney representing the Trump campaign questioned the legality of poll watchers being denied entry to new city election offices. It's the same notion that inspired this during the debate. Bad things happen in Philadelphia. Bad things. For whatever reason, the the president likes to talk about Philadelphia. During a Wednesday morning city commissioners' elections meeting, officials were adamant that poll watchers are not authorized access because these are not polling locations. And the process taking place inside these election offices is not early voting. The confusion, maybe, from the Trump campaign is these are technically not early voting uh, locations like they are in other states. It's an allowance for people to pick up their mail ballot. Fill it out and return it. David Thornburg is the president of the Committee of 70, an independent and nonpartisan organization promoting better government. He explained that a limited number of certificates for poll watchers are given to campaigns and political parties each election. The law, which was written back in 1937, uh, was just to try to make sure that you had uh, eyes from both parties on the process. Uh, but that's not what this is. And there were no certificates to award. This is not a polling location. The letter from Trump campaign attorneys included, quote, if these satellite election offices are not polling places, then they are public places and the campaign should not be denied access. Well, City Commissioner Al Schmidt, who is a Republican, responded saying that these offices are only for Philadelphians either registering to vote or utilizing the mail-in ballot services. Reporting live tonight, Alexandria Hoff, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.